Hello guy. Hello again. <laughs> Goodness me. Twice in one day. I just thought it might be an idea if, you know, to help you see things more clearly about the world and what I'm trying to convey to get across about the big giants like you've got the lady giant and the man giant and you've got the uh, the baby or ba uh, babies sorry um, oh here's a good post anyway yeah what I was saying was before I digressed <laughs> I'm not very good at keeping one train of thought I'm always dancing from one thing to another uh, yeah please um, find the page on Facebook and join you know I think it's set for automatic joining now here we go this this is a good one this is something I notice there's a correlation of shape um, if you gosh and that's the that's the current kind of on at the top that's the current flat earth map so well crater earth map sorry it's not the full crater earth map it's only kind of half of it and um, you'd have to go to god girl god give lamast g o d g e v l a m s t e it's m for mother Anyway, um, yeah, he explains that really well. He's got some fantastic video skills. If you imagine that's a lady sitting down. Now, uh, this is where I can't turn it around. <laughs> on the left is... Um, on the left is her head, which is South America. Okay. Turn those off. Um... And then, kind of, the Gulf of Mexico is her neck area, and the Caribbean is her lower jaw. Do you see that? Coming left to right, her head's on the left, and then her bottom area is just next to Australia. And that's kind of China. and. Uh, I call it VA China or Fat China because that's where that baby popped out of. I know it sounds a little bit far fetched, but it makes perfect sense, <laughs> sense to me in my head. You need to turn it on its side. Anyway, getting back to the correlation between these shapes made me think we have more babies. This, uh, the one on the bottom here is an old map of Europe and uh, the phone's frozen on me. Oh gosh, what do I do? Don't panic, that's what you do. Hey, back into that so I can blow it up a bit. This isn't going to work. I'm going to have to try something else. I just don't know what. Can someone send me a laptop, please? That's, like, newish. That Well, just one that's got enough memory and um, RAM <laughs> to run a video program. That would be lovely. Uh, gosh. Start again. Yeah. So... If you can see that, like, um, it even shows you where the heart is, just to the right of Germania and south of Dania. Yeah, do you see that? Gosh, I can't point. That's also, and then here's the map of Europe on the bottom here. Okay, and then that's the corresponding 
um, map, old world map. That's the corresponding <laughs> old world map. And you see, if you see, there's a kind of similar shape to it, which makes me think that Great Britain may also be another baby. Uh, maybe even Ireland too. Or, I don't know. It's difficult to say really, isn't it? I'm just guessing. But to me, those shapes look very similar. That's all I'm saying on that one. Let's go on to something else. Uh, that's more of the same thing. Oh, yeah. Idaho, my favourite. Now, this is my favourite picture that I managed to... You know, I absolutely scoured the internet. I scoured the internet to try and find uh, a photograph of a snake of the same variety as the Idaho snake. And um, I don't think that's too bad, except the tongue or proboscis or whatever you want to call it comes further out to the right and craters of the moon in in Idaho is uh, is is venom it's just that's what all that black is it's venom so i think that's amazing and and what's also really interesting i think is that they grow all the potatoes in Idaho they? famous potatoes i've been there I went and stayed in Wendell and uh, went up to Sun Valley and I went on a few farms. I also um, went to Wendell High School and I taught, I, taught, I don't know why they chose me, I taught a lesson in English. I had to read some poetry and some Shakespeare. Um, my accent's changed a bit since then, really. I'd, I'd been at boarding school and I, I was quite... Uh, I sounded like a BBC presenter. This is the BBC. But I don't anymore because I've spent so much time in London. I've got the London accent. So, with a bit of Egyptian now. <laughs> Yeah, so you must be able to see its eyes and its tongue and its nose. It's just so obvious to me, it really is. Let's go past that one, because I did that one not last time, time before, I think. Let's see. Oh, yeah. I don't think I've done this yet, have I? I haven't done this one. All right. This, I th I'm not sure who this is. It could be, um, it could be Genghis Khan, it could be Enki, it could be, um, it could, well, I just can't think of his name now. Um, Gilgamesh, that's it, could be Gilgamesh. If you look at all the, uh, uh, all the pictures, you'll... You'll see, can you see his beard and his nose and his eyes and his ears? And he's even got some sort of earring going on there as well. And his hat. And it's all, I mean, when you look at pictures of Gilgamesh, if you type in to the search Gilgamesh, you'll see how much he is like that. Uh, see if I can find, can I find... Can I find Gilgamesh? Let's have a look. Oh, that's great. I just love that. Obviously, the bottom picture is skin. And so is the top picture, but there's little man in there. <laughs> well, it's not little. 
be five foot eight average and that just shows you you know the rocks were alive some that's I wish I could I can't point I don't know how I'm gonna get around that one if you you can see uh, you can you can uh, can you see a lady sitting there cross-legged who's just given birth and there's bits of afterbirth and the baby can you see that I can uh, sea turtle oh yeah he's cute he's so cute that's that's his head and his his eye from Google his eye yeah, is in the centre. His eye is in the centre. And then his mouth is just underneath. And that's one of his arms. Okay. Top of the page is his arm now. See? And then top left is his head. Can you see that? And then you can see the rest of his body coming down from there. Cute. Uh, I can't remember if that was Sardinia or Cyprus. I should have made a note. Uh, right. Let's see if I can find this... Uh, There's Papa. <laughs> There's Papa. Papa to Anuku. Or uh, Pangu. Or Adam. Or Atlas. Or At Last. More Idaho. See, I've put the little, little uh, tongue in there. Exact it's to the right one. Come on, where is he? Where's he gone? Oh, I'm so sure I did. Ah, here we are. There we go. Right, now, can you see it now? I actually think the one it looks the most like is the one in the centre. Because of the nose mainly although let's have a look at his nose mm, yeah don't know Pat Pat is slightly different isn't it You know, you can just about make a cross out on the ear. Does that one of them have a... Yeah, look. And that's Gilgamesh. So that's probably him. I think so. Well, I'll tell you the backstory to how I found him. Is... Um, I think it was UA, UAP and uh, Martin Liedka were having a conversation about the train station in Can Frank. And it's obviously a kind of big Tartarian station and it's one of the biggest stations in the world. Yet it doesn't go anywhere. There isn't anything there. There's nothing there. And I just thought, I just thought to myself, do you know something? For them to build a station that big in Can Frank, okay, if you look up Can Frank Station, I think it's C A. It's either one N or two, F R A N C, Frank, as in French Frank. So uh, I just thought, why? Why would you build such an enormous station? Um, in the middle of nowhere there had to be a reason so I went looking 
and I'm pretty sure this is the reason. I'm I'm a hundred percent sure this is the reason, and the other reason I'm a hundred percent sure this is the reason is because of the length of the station. What I think it was was day trippers, and you know they wanted to get as many in in one day and back out again, and that's the reason for the length of the platform. So there you go, and that's the I, that's what makes sense to me. I mean, I lived in Blackpool and it was all about getting as many people served as you possibly could in the shortest amount of time. And, uh, yeah, that, uh, that made sense to me. They went there on a pilgrimage. That's what I think, anyway. I'm pretty sure they went on a pilgrimage to see this chap. He might have been Genghis Khan. The story goes uh, that, um, is it Genghis Khan? Yeah, not at all. I was thinking of Ataturk, no. Um, yeah, definitely, because they, they buried him and they didn't want anyone to know where he was buried, but maybe they found out. I don't know. Anyway, these are things that need more analysis. I've only just really begun. Um, we've only just begun <laughs> uh, to find a lot of this and what I tend to do, I, I don't do it all the time because it'll drive you mad. I've got other things in the pipeline but because um, I'm interested about everything. But it needs more kind of study. Each each thing needs more study into. Like I just made that video of Baby Australia. And what I need to do is I need to get lots of anatomical pictures of babies in the womb and then line everything up because I know for a fact it's all going to line up and we'll be able to pinpoint each and every single cell almost and part of each each part of the body you know heart lungs liver um, kidneys hands feet eyes nose ears brain you name it spinal column it'll all be found and anatomically uh, analysed. And I know it's right, it's not wrong. Right, let's have a look, see what else there is. Oh, there's another one. Yeah. <laughs> Tasmania is a tongue. Yeah, I wonder if Tasmania is another word for tongue. It begins with a T. Oh, look at that lovely old elephant. Elephant Rock in Iceland. Do you know something? Just beyond that elephant is a baby elephant. Must have been... Uh, it's quite sad, really, the way... Something flash froze all these creatures. <coughs> ah, this is, this is good. This helps to kind of show you what I mean about it looks like a woman sitting cross-legged pregnant obviously because in her tummy is which is the Mediterranean the amniotic sac is the Mediterranean is is the uh, baby Europa seem to think that baby Europa actually is a Draco so the evil one and then um, baby Australia looks pretty pretty much normal to me but the baby in Europe kind of looks quite evil I know that sounds sounds weird but it's just the way I keep looking at it uh, last one dolphin yeah I'm pretty sure that uh, North Africa is a dolphin um, I keep going to point, <laughs> thinking you can see me, but you can't. But I think 
you know, I've got the photos there and that kind of shows you what I'm trying to get at. In that top picture, right, if you see the green bit sticking up, right, which is the, the uh, dorsal mm. fin, if you come down from there, right, then you'll see it's actually quite large, you know, and uh, let me see, is it this one? Yeah, imagine that's the whole head of of the uh, the dolphin. And, well, that's the whole body. Anyway, I've gone over me 20 minutes. I don't want you getting bored now. Um, but I look forward to, uh, I look forward to showing you the unicorn. Oh, isn't that marvellous that it's blacked out? <laughs> All will be revealed. <laughs>